Windows 10 insiders getting discounts, home users forced into updates, downgrades possible, games streamable, and now the search for aliens got a little bit more money. These are today's bits. July 29th is right around the corner, so Windows 10 is all over the news. I for one am going to wait on my upgrade just to kind of see how things play out, but I can say that the preview builds that I've experienced have had a lot of good qualities and a few bad. One bonus to being an insider now is that I get 20% off PC hardware and accessories from Microsoft stores on the Windows 10 launch date. And if I'm one of the lucky ones, I might even be able to snag one of those free t-shirts that they're handing out. Not terribly exciting for me because if I actually wanted to go to a Microsoft store, the nearest one is three hours away. But hey, a discount is a discount and I'm sure somebody out there is going to take advantage of it. So we all know that Windows 7 and Windows 8 users will be able to upgrade to Windows 10 for free. If you don't know this by now, then hello, welcome to Earth. What we didn't know is that Microsoft is actually allowing people to reverse that decision for one month by giving people an option to restore back to the previous Windows version. This is only available for a month, so if you do your upgrade, make sure that you really like it before that expires. Personally, I hope this actually works out for people because in my experience with Windows Restore, those rollbacks usually break more things than they actually fit. Fix. To be honest, I gave up on that a long time ago after a few bad issues. I only now rely on weekly disk backups that my computer do automatically. But if it works out, then maybe it'll save people from their impulse decisions. Either way, it's cool that they're at least making this an option. Speaking of options, or lack thereof, they have decided to force all Windows Home users into all updates. People who have the actual home version of Windows 10 will get updates automatically and right away. While people with the Pro version can technically decline an update, it only is good for 8 months. Enterprise users though will have the option to ignore updates altogether, which actually makes a lot of sense in that environment. In one hand, I think this is actually a great idea because there's so many security breaches that come from unpatched computers owned by careless or clueless people. People. I for one have a long list of Windows updates that still are waiting to be installed because well, I hate restarting my computer. But on the other hand, I feel like this should be one of those things that are enabled by default, maybe even without any installation options or notifications, but if the user wanted to, they could control them manually. Not because I have any reason not to update, but I swear if I wake up one day and find out that all of my windows were force closed because of some stupid update that I didn't agree to, I will pirate the shit out of Windows 10 Enterprise. I'll do it. I don't care if I've already paid for Windows. I restart on my own time, not on yours. In brighter news, a new update brings game streaming from your Xbox to your Windows 10 beta. In fact, Windows will actually mirror the full console so you can even run apps or access the home screen. Microsoft wasn't stupid though because they disabled playing copyright content like movies or music via this stream. I actually wanted to test this out, but aside from my keyboard and mouse, I don't have anything to even use on my PC to play a console game. And even if I did, why do I want to play Halo on a 27 inch monitor when I can play it on my big screen TV? In fact, I don't really see the point in streaming games to a PC altogether. I mean, if you buy a console to hook up to your entertainment area, why limit that experience by going to your PC? You're not going to get the performance or the graphics boost by doing so, so it all seems kind of pointless to me. Maybe I'm missing something, I don't know. I'm not saying... <laughs> I'm not saying that console gaming is better than PC gaming. Don't get that twisted. What I'm saying is that when you buy a console game, you're already accepting the fact that you're going to have slightly lesser graphics and basic performance that comes with all of the console games. But when you buy a PC game, you have the ability to boost it up to higher frame rates, get better textures, etc., etc. And that's why you buy a PC game. So why stream it from a console to a PC? It's like you're getting the crap to something that could do a lot better. Uh, what? On a topic other than Windows 10, the search for aliens has just gotten a boost in funds. Some Russian business guy named Yuri Milner has donated $100 million to help find signs of alien communications. The funds will be used by purchasing time on two of the world's largest radio telescopes that can search for frequencies less sensitive to the pollution of Earth's current activities. Then they want to build equipment and hire astronomers to sift through all of that data. With all of these upgrades, they will be able to scan 10 times more of the sky than previous efforts, and they'll be able to process data 100 times faster. They're going to focus on electromagnetic signals that should only come from intelligent life, rather than worrying about finding microscopic bacteria on asteroids. Not that that's bad either, I'm just saying it's a lot cooler. 
This is awesome and I really hope that they find something. I have no doubt in my mind that life exists somewhere else. I just think that we have to find it. Consider this photo. Albeit a couple years old, it shows the distance our own radio waves have traveled since the beginning of our electronic era. That's 200 light years in every direction. The first signal powerful enough to make it to space was broadcasted in 1936. So in less than 80 years, we already have a couple hundred light years of travel under our belt. Imagine an alien planet that has had broadcast ability for hundreds or thousands of years. Assuming we even have the correct technology to pick it up, their broadcast bubble should be a lot larger than ours. What do you think? Do aliens exist? Is this a waste of money? Let me know in the comments. If you believe in aliens, then like this video. If you think that we are alone in this universe and everything revolves around us, then dislike it.